And at the University of Missouri campus this morning, a vigil was held for the removal of more than a dozen pin oak trees. ABC 17's Joshua Blount joins us live from MU's campus after speaking with both the school and an organizer for the vigil. Josh, crews are already working to cut down more trees around the Francis Quad. Zola. As you see behind me, those crew members are working right now, and that vigil happened right here behind me on MU's campus at 8 o'clock this morning. Not only two people showed up for the vigil, however, those two tell me that they feel they speak for those in spirit who didn't want all 15 trees cut down at once. Mizzou tells me the plans of cutting the 15 pine oak trees have been in the works for years. The school says after reviewing with experts, the trees have reached their reached the end of their life and are now a safety hazard to the campus community. The pine oaks or so-called legacy oaks will be replaced by white oak trees donated to the university by alumni and organized organizer of the visual says he feels the university should have cut the trees down gradually saying the current method creates climate disruption. You know when the students come back in the fall and they have no uh, no source of shade here in the quadrangle what will it do to them? I mean I think it will increase the stress level for them you know it may make make it a much more difficult place psychologically for folks. Now, MU says they are, re they are evaluating the wood as it comes down. However, the university says they were told that pine oak is not favorable in the commercial industry to build with. For now, reporting live from Columbia, Joshua Blount, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks, Joshua. MU says it anticipates it will take a couple of weeks to clear all the trees. However, that will depend on the weather.